Hello guys, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we will learn the autocomplete component from end design. We will see how we can suggest the values for autocompletion as soon as user is typing. So let's get started. I have an empty React.js project that is using end design and right now it's showing nothing. So let's go ahead and import the autocomplete component from end design and start using it. So it will be autocomplete and let's give it a style and we give it a width of 200 pixels if i save it here you go so you can type it right now it's doing nothing so let's add functionality inside that let's add the placeholder maybe we can say type here for auto complete save it maybe let's increase it's to 230 okay so we can type it right so to display the options while user is typing uh, we can use the options prop and inside that uh, we can provide an array of options so let's declare uh, the options and it will be an array of object and in each object we need to provide the label we can type one and also its value uh, it can be different uh, but let's keep it same as the label and let's copy and add few more options right so it is two three four five and here we can provide uh, the options we have declared above so if i save it there you go so user has options so user can uh, choose from these right so if you want that uh, while i am typing it should uh, filter down these values uh, according, to, according to the characters i am typing here so for that you can use uh, the filter options as true and if i save it and now if i type it it shows only the one uh, that includes uh, this particular character so if i type 2 if i type 3 if I type F, so 4 and 5 are appearing, right? And if I select any of these, uh, I can get that value here. And that will be the on select. And here I will be getting the value that user has selected. So let's console it. You can say console.log selected value is the value. If I save it and inspect and go to the console and now if i type anything for your selected value is four and set value two right three so we can get the selected value here and right now we are searching or filtering or auto completing the values from the options we have provided here locally so if you want that uh, as soon as user is typing something here uh, we can make a search or we can make an api call to the server and then server returns the values and then we can populate uh, accordingly so we can do that as well so for that we can use the on search prop and it will be giving us the value that user has typed and let's console this value as well so we can say console.log searched text and we can say value if i save it let's clear the console and if i type anything so uh, search text is this one and a b c so as soon as user is typing it will uh, say that whatever user has typed. so what we can do is uh, inside that we can make an api call and get the results from the server and then we can populate the options accordingly so let's mimic that behavior uh, we can write the search function and here will be search text and here we will be making the api call right what it will be doing is it will be returning us uh, the response so we we can uh, mold that response into the similar we have right now here right so to update the options on every search uh, we can take the help of uh, use state so we will be updating the state variable uh, on search and it 
we can give that here and as soon as this, uh, the options are updated so auto complete will re-render and uh, those options will be shown accordingly right so we can say the options set options and default value we can say we can declare these as a default value cut it from here maybe declare above that and we can say these are the default options right copy it and here we can paste it and this will be used straight from react okay so let's mimic the results and we, maybe we can say set options and it will be whatever is uh, right now in the default options and then we can maybe add uh, two to three records so th that will be similar to the one we have declared above so maybe we can say let's add three records and uh, we can say it will be maybe search text both in label and value and let's copy and paste it here as well and here here okay so uh, for the first option we can uh, say only the search text for the second option maybe we can say search text two times it is appearing and for the third option we can say is the search text three times so uh, here we are only mimicking the mimicking the behavior of the the search results as returned by the server side so here we are showing that uh, whatever user is typing we will be showing that option uh, three times here so if i save it i can show you how it will look like so on search we will be making the search and passing the value so if i refresh and if I, if I type maybe 10 so it will be showing 10 and 2 times 10 and 3 times 10 right so we can set from here as well right and if I type T it will so it is appearing in the 2 3 and these options are uh, we, we defined here right and here you can see uh, the empty spaces so that is because uh, user not typed anything so it's empty so we can get rid of that as well we can say if if there is any search text then do this one and in case of else uh, set options to the default one so we can say default options okay and now if i refresh and now if i type and go back it will uh, there will be no empty spaces right so this is how we use the autocomplete component from end design to search or the filter down or the autocomplete the values as soon as user is typing right but still if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you have learned something in this video please hit like subscribe to my channel see you in the next video thank you